Hello, creative friends. Uh, it's Eugenia from Art Maltemi Atelier, and today, um, today we're going to be making another mini watercolor palette. Uh, the other day, as I was cleaning and uh, the drawers uh, at the office downstairs, uh, I came across with this little booklet. So this uh, notebook, uh, <laughs> it's got a story. It, it was my my daughter's. Uh, seem when she was, I can't remember what, what uh, how old she was. She was very little, maybe eight, nine years old. And she, we had those birthday parties, and then they had to hand over little toys to the to the kids. Uh, she came up with the idea to give them a, a little notebook amongst the lolly bags. So uh, we got a whole heap of those little cute uh, telephone books <laughs> uh, and uh, here's for telephones and uh, some notes on the side. So we got a whole heap of them and um, uh, from the $2 stores here in Australia, though there were heaps of them at the time, we are talking about uh, 12 years ago. I'm sorry for the pause, I just my throat went a little bit funny. Um, so yeah, and um, we did make the lolly bags and we did put these little notebooks in the, in the lolly bags and everybody, all the little girls were so happy. Uh, but we had uh, a few, uh, as you can see, left off. <laughs> so I found now a few of them. Now, So I thought I'll take one and I'll see what I can do. I came up with the idea of um, making a little palette uh, out of this little cute um, uh, notebook um, so uh, I am uh, I decided to take off this booklet here and I will use it for something else now this is uh, stuck but that's okay we will glue it again and uh, just uh, I'll take off this and we'll put our own our own watercolor booklet that we're gonna make and actually because it is so cute I might just <laughs> just got the emergency number here too that's so cute <laughs> she was using it for herself uh, Okay, triple zero. <laughs> okay, I'm just we know it now. Don't have to have it written there. <laughs> uh, okay, so actually, it is actually even better than what I thought because I was thinking to make um, to put my own booklet uh, here, but I might leave this one as um, as the front. So yeah, I've decided in the meantime not to leave them this one because they're a little bit smaller than what I want. So I took it out. I will keep it because I definitely am going to use it for something else. Uh, and then I am going to make uh, two little um, two little. Um, sketchbooks watercolor sketchbooks okay so uh, this is the outside of my two uh, okay let's explain now uh, what I have thought uh, first of all I am going to make um, two Okay, one. Okay. So the first thing I'll do is uh, I, I got uh, some A5 papers. And uh, first we have to cut them. I've got another video showing how to um, cut watercolor paper. So, let's 
so I am not going to um, or I might just show you quickly first we are um, fold them like this and with a tool like um, this is not a tool that was from a toy uh, so anything that is round and kind not completely flat but a little bit rounded you could even use a spoon actually uh, or is there anything even then a thick uh, you can just roll like this but the, if you find something similar to this it's easier so the first thing uh, I'm doing is to uh, crease them and then with the brush and clean water just go in and wet it wet where we have creased it from both sides we go again with this tool or and press both sides and now it should be very very loose get a ruler and we're cutting it really easily with a nice deckled edge so I'm gonna be doing this with a couple of those and the other one it will be long way so I'm gonna be folding it that way so what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna end up with a portrait and a landscape um, sketchbook at the same time so I'm gonna fast forward this part So here we are, uh, we, I have uh, prepared the, the papers for uh, the portrait um, notebook, sketchbook, <laughs> uh, and the idea that I have is to create a, then to stick the, the back like this. So once I've got it here, and this is very thick <laughs> uh, or I might just put it on top maybe yeah the idea was to be uh, thinner uh, but then I won't be able to close it so um, so the idea is to once I open it uh, we can have the the book here but I think I made it too thick. Okay, so let's see how much space I will have and then we go to the next stage. What my, uh, what I thought is, okay, let me, let me fix this part here that has been unstuck. And uh, my idea was to put uh, these little pill cases that we normally throw uh four colors and uh where's the scissors i'm gonna just uh cut this excess here 
that it is in my way and it is wasting space for no reason so make sure you don't have uh, the con the corners you have rounded the corners because they're pretty sharp And now I have nice round corners that then not sharp at all, uh, almost. <laughs> so I am going to stick here on the one side my uh, with my hot glue gun. And I don't put it straight away, not to be too 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 hot and. Uh, okay and that's great because it closes perfectly it actually allows me some space uh we'll see how much space i will have at the end and then uh i found this little plastic uh, um thing from uh and, and this from um uh, memory cards you know you know those memory cards and they fit perfectly in here uh almost perfectly yeah they do so but it would be nice if it was white at the at the back so i'm gonna have to cut them and separate it because i want i'm gonna use them as mixing uh, space and what i'll do I will find some white um, paper to stick underneath. So I will get, oh, or I could uh, paint them with, um, I could paint them with um, acrylic, white acrylic. But for the moment, I will just use some. Paper. Um, okay, it should be fine though. I just have to get another glue stick. Sorry for that. I'm always making mess with the with the glues. That's me. I never got thing anything straight, <laughs> and I'm making mess with the glue. Okay, let's try it again. Which side is the straight one now? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's do this one first and make sure that I uh, yep, can close it and the other one will be a little bit outside, well, too bad, what can we do? Okay, there we go. So now we have our uh, for space for our colors, space for mixing, and it's closing perfectly. And now we have to make sure that we can fit our paper. Let's see if we can fit one of them, no problem. But I want to fit two. Because I want to be able to have a portrait. Oh, and a landscape. Hmm. And if I have both of them, there's absolutely no way I can close it. Oh, maybe I can close it. Yes, I can still close it. Wow. Okay. I didn't think that I could do that. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't put as as much paper on each of them. 
um, maybe I should just uh, put um, let's see if I put instead of four I put three on each let's see if that helps and it should yeah it totally helps okay so now the next stage is to stitch those um, booklets and I will show you at the end how I'm going to uh, put them together so there we go we are ready now to stitch our um, uh, booklets our sketchbooks and um, so what I did, I have, uh, I'll show you, I have put all my uh, folded papers on in line like this, then the outside, the cover and the lining paper. This is the paper that I'm going to just uh, stitch them in and then I will stitch that one onto the outside, the cover. Then I am uh, clipping them nice and tight so they don't move and once I have them like this nice and tight and in line um, try to have them in line as much as possible like this and also the same I have done with uh, those ones so I put them in the middle of the cover because my cover is a little bit bigger and the lining so that's fine uh, and then uh, I get a I'll get a sharpie and I mark roughly where I am going to um, do the stitching because th these are small um, sketchbooks I am going to do only two stitchings if it was bigger i would have to do four if it was if it was double for example i would have to have to do four but um maybe i should do for this one maybe i should do two and two small ones actually sometimes it's better to do less because in case you want to um unstitch and um once you you have an art piece there and you want to take it out from the sketchbook and maybe um if you want to frame it or something <laughs> so you don't want to have too many holes but i'm sure i'm not going to be framing those ones so that's fine now i have scored them i can um take out the clips put them aside and I'm getting my needle and I start making the holes now you have to remember the way that you have to place them again the same way do not turn them around so make sure you close them there and you put them exactly the same way because uh, I haven't measured to see if they're even from both sides so this one uh, I just stand from here but it will be like this I've got a deckled edge all of them on one side so that will look a little bit more neat and I will uh, stitch them individually I won't put them in bundles for well, the same reason as I told you, because in case that I want to make a panoramic one, it is it's better to have a panoramic like that instead of having 
a panorama like that. Yep. So, okay, everything is still in line. <laughs> So I do have another video showing how to stitch. Uh, I'm not gonna, uh, or I might just do it in, because I have to stitch now two of those books. So I might, I might not uh, keep you uh, watching me staging the books. So I am going to. Um, Actually, here yeah, it is right. Uh, I've done. Yeah, no. It is a little bit wrong. Okay, that's the. So yeah, there we are. It covers more. Okay. Uh, so we'll continue like that. I will stitch them and we'll be back in a minute. So there we go. I managed to stitch my booklets. <laughs> so I've got them ready here. As you can see, there's my cover, my uh, lining inside, and here's the watercolor uh, papers. And for both of them. So the next step is to stick this um, uh, lining ah uh, yes see because I use it on the it dropped that's why <laughs> so there we go we stick one side and um, there we are. We'll stick the other side. So this booklet is ready. And the same will do for this one. This one has a short one because I didn't have enough paper anymore. <laughs> so it's tough. Only half. But that's okay because I will show you what I tend to do. So now, this one that is uh, the back of my horizontal one, I'll just take all of this, it will be clipping. So I get my um, the back of my uh, vertical one and the back of my horizontal one. They will be stuck like this. So now, all of a sudden, I've got two sketchbooks in one. One that opens this way, and if I want horizontal, I just flip it the other side, and I have a horizontal one. And uh, it is very, very, very convenient. So what I am going to do here, um, well, the plan it was to stick it, but if I stick it, then I won't be able to do what to flip them around. So. Um, easy, 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 easy. You can just put some paper clips. Yeah, paper clips give um, the solution to everything if I find them easily. <laughs> so, um, where are all my paper clips have gone? Okay, there's one, and I can use one of those too. So, 
what I will do, I'm gonna just get my and and then when I want the other side, I'm just turning it this way and I put my paper clips that way. But for the moment, I think I'm gonna keep it as a um for a portrait vertical or just turn it this way and I've got my horizontal pretty cool uh, so let's secure it not completely when it's good enough to hold it so I'll put one paper clip here and um, I might put one of those, a little one. Uh, now I didn't do them. <laughs> I've done that one a little bit bigger, which is not such a good idea. Uh, but I've done it now. And I could have done it small. I could have cut it actually. Um. And probably I will if I will unstick unstick this. I told you I'm not good with papers. <laughs> uh, okay. I think the damage was small. Yeah, we can do it. So I'm gonna just get my scissors. I just cut them smaller. Otherwise, it will be bigger for no reason. Uh, it is good to be a little bit larger, the, the cover obviously, but not for this occasion. Because I want it to fit in my palette. Perfect. Oh, that will be exactly what I want. So, let's stick it again. <laughs> um, oh, where's all my glue gone again? <laughs> Great. So that's better. So on the other side I can just uh, clip it with this and I am oh, I'm ready or oh, maybe I have to use a little bit larger one because it's a little bit I'm missing it just for a little bit. Uh, I might use this one. Yep. Excellent. So there we go. In one um, little uh, notebook, it's been turned into a portable palette and uh, including two sketchbooks. Wow, that's that's pretty good. Let's see if we can fit also a little uh, brass there. If I move them a little bit higher, and I've got my water brush here, and let's see if it closes. And guess what? It does close. Oh, don't think anyone would believe you that uh, it's um, such a small and compact um, little thing can uh, uh, carry uh, all of this two uh, sketchbooks, a palette, mixing space and a brush. I think we've done pretty good. Now uh, if you're happy with one sketchbook then you can avoid all of this mess here and you can just stick, stick it on your paper. Uh, which I will probably do. Uh, I just had these, I just wanted to have that to show you how I can, um, we can have actually two sketchbooks uh, together uh, otherwise uh, I am going to 
uh, probably uh, take off and keep one sketchbook probably the vertical one um, and I'm gonna just stick it this way which actually I uh, could could I no I couldn't so if yeah, no it needs to be on one sketchbook otherwise you need to have uh, your uh, little uh, clip which is not a bad idea to use a uh, we always need some uh, paper clips to hold our um, paintings so you might uh, find it useful to have some um, paper clips with you and you probably need only one actually you don't need the second one uh, one of them holds it yeah fine uh, yeah definitely uh, yeah only one it's enough uh okay and that's about it uh now i'm going i am ready to fill up uh, my chains and i'm ready for an outdoor adventure totally Actually, I'll keep this one in here somewhere because uh, I can just, if for example, I am, if I'm painting here, I can always hold this one or, yes, yeah, it's, it's always useful to have a paper clip somewhere with you. So I'm going to just keep it and, and now it doesn't close. Okay. <laughs> I uh, just have to leave my, uh, give it a little more space. Let's go a little bit higher. Okay. And there we go. You could, you could actually make it a little bit neater if you would make your sketchbooks a little bit smaller or if you have a bigger um, cover um, but I won't complain I'm pretty happy with that uh, it is steady uh, it's compact it fits in my pocket I've got everything I need to go for a little uh, outdoor adventure and actually once i'm here i will uh, just fill it up with my uh, phoenix watercolors uh, it's student grade so it is perfect for practice and going out and let's talk about it also a little bit uh, about the colors that i am going to take with me so i will get a, a cool yellow um, a lemon yellow so I'm gonna put some lemon yellow here. Uh, then I will take a, a warm yellow, which is a cadmium yellow. I will put it on the other side. Remember what I'll do now is the warm and the cool primaries basically. And then uh, I will get a warm red. So a warm red, which is a cadmium red hue. That's the warmest that they have. And a cool red, uh, which is going to be um i think i will put no i should put alizarin crimson or this is too pink it came out too yeah. okay i think i want the alizarin crimson and uh, no. I always use a lot of alizarin crimson because it's great for mixing uh, 
now. Our dating my um Now. Just trying to clean to keep the um, clean the leads, otherwise they're getting stuck. And then we need a warm blue and a cool blue. So I will use um, an ultramarine on my cool side. And I will use a pale blue on my warm side. And of course some white. This is very good uh, opaque white, almost uh, as an um, almost as a wash a little bit white for my highlights and um, I will be happy with those because if I mix my warm yellow and my warm blue I will get a nice really dark um, brown because I, uh, sometimes I'm getting really um, lazy, I'll get some paint grey because I like it. Put the paint grey on this side, and on the other side I will put a little bit lump black, just in case when I want something really, really dark and I don't have it. Okay, and there we go. So we have, and I still have two more empty, but um, I won't decide right now. For the moment, I'm content with this arrangement, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to. I'll try to keep. I can see this sketchbook cover becoming really, really uh, colorful soon. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so, that's it. There we go. We are ready to paint. But I want paint right now because I need to go prepare dinner. <laughs> uh, we'll be using it soon though, and um, I will be showing you even if I don't uh, make a. Um, an actual video um, I'm gonna show you though what I, I made with them as all showcases so hope that you enjoy this um, tutorial tutorial is not a tutorial this is um, a palette making um, kind of thing <laughs> um, I hope that they give you a good idea for a mini palette and sketchbook all at once so if you have any um notebooks old notebooks that um you haven't uh, used or or actually you use them and you just have the covers and they're cute and you haven't thrown them yet <laughs> uh oh just um i keep them i might have to get even a bigger clip Okay, have to use both hands, and uh, yeah, you can convert it to a, a little uh, sketchbook mini palette that fits in your pocket. Thank you very much for watching me. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna see you soon at my next video. Uh, we will probably be a review or a painting, I haven't decided yet and um i would love to see uh, your palettes if you make any 
Uh, so if you found this content any useful and um, you're going to be using this idea, uh, please don't forget to like this um, video and uh, subscribe so we can see uh, have more fun and for more mini palette ideas and um, paintings, reviews, uh, we'll be doing some pastels some pencils drawing what else uh, color theory yep we're gonna be, be very very busy <laughs> so yeah join and into this adventure um click the notification bell so you can get a notification every time that we are uh, uploading a new video and uh, for the moment, I will say bye. And till I see you next time, be happy, be creative, and keep painting or making palettes. <laughs> bye for now. Okay, so the other thing that I forgot to tell you is, uh, how about um, when you want to dry, your, um, clean up your brush. So. These are perfect. These ones are found them at any sports uh, store. And uh, just put them on your wrist. This one is actually an advertising one. And uh, yep, just put it on your wrist like this. And uh, you can actually clean your brush as you're painting. And there you go. That's another little idea. Um, perfect. And th this is so light, so it kind of, you can actually uh, hold it with your finger underneath. And there we go. Okay, I'm going. Bye. <laughs>